Hey guys, the Darth Mills are bringing you another exclusive lightsaber review. This lightsaber is maybe a NeoPixel Best Buy. So tell me what you think, give you guys a review on it, and go from there. Right, so this is the TXQ Ghost that I purchased on AliExpress. Here's what it comes with. Your typical custom sabers type box. Pretty standard, right? Box didn't come damaged or anything of that nature. So provide you a manual. And this is their SN Pixel. So this is not your typical Profi Neo Pixel or Xeno V2 or any Asteria heart or anything of that nature. This is its own original SN Pixel, which I think is a great value. I purchased this item for about $130 without the blade. It retails for about $160 if you purchase the NeoPixel blade with it. So it includes the saber itself right here on top. We already displayed the manual. And in this manual, it goes over your typical things you would expect. The sound fonts, how to remove the blade, how to charge it, how to power on, power off, things you can do while the saber's on. Uh, this is a two button setup, which I think is an advantage for most budget sabers. It has an aux button. So I like that a lot about this saber. It does have the gesture controls, things of that nature. So here she is, the ghost. I think it's a very beautiful saber for, for the budget. Again, two button setup. It's basically three pieces and a very attractive saber. Uh, looks like you could two hand it but you might hit the aux button or the power button. So mostly a, a one-handed saber. So what it came with for me, besides the blade, was it came with uh, your tool, wrench, screws, and the charging cable. So that's a must have. Came with a blade plug that I don't have. This type of blade plug with like this kind of like bullet nose, which is nice. So came with that. And that's pretty much it for the 130 type price. So it does have the LED uh, lights in the emitter. And it, of course it has the NeoPixel pins. So I will just power it on so you guys can see that version of it. <laughs> So here's its smooth swing. Angelic Plasma, that's one of their sound fonts that I've never heard before. This is the long ignition sound. So overall for $130, uh, this Sabre I think is a great value, um, a great steal. I'm going to put the blade in and have you guys see that. All right, so I put the blade in so you guys can see some of the sound fonts this lightsaber has. So we'll go through a couple. Electric Essence. Electric Essence. So this is Dark Sith Red. This next one is like the Luke Speeder Bike on Return of the Jedi. It 
It's one of my favorite. Gotta like that. This is like the Rancor. Your Rancor sound. Your normal Luke, but theirs is in blue. Another great one. This is more like your Sabulba pod racer. Not sure exactly what that one is. It's like water or a wave. It's very neat. Kylo Ren. So you can change color. If you hold the aux upside down and you hold it and turn and you just keep cycling through the colors. Purple, blue, green, yellow, Kylo and blue. Leia. Again. Whatever color you want, Leia. Stable. You can do stable, unstable, fire. There's a lot of options as far as the blade style um, and blade ignition. So you hold the auxiliary for two seconds and it will change Oh, uh, your ignition. Ray Skywalker. That's your traditional ignition? Again, one of your options for ignition. There's another option for your ignition. There's about five. Pretty neat. A lot of great options for a $160 NeoPixel. And again, there's uh, multiple more sound fonts I didn't display, and there's more ignition styles, and even blade types. Uh, there's one particular I wanna show you on the blade types that I have not seen before. We've all seen rainbow and flame and fire and all those kinds, stable, unstable. I'm gonna show you this particular one that I have never seen before. False, unstable. Ghost. Ghost. Cross. Cross. So cross is the one I have not seen before. So check out cross. Cross just flutters in between a red, green, and yellow. Pretty unique. Yeah. <laughs>
So again, a lot of options for your budget NeoPixel. And again, really good looking saber for display piece. It feels really good to wield. It's, 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 it feels great in the hand. I always hold mine high. Everyone has their own preference. So let's go over the purchase and TXQ sabers and time frame and all of those sorts of things if you're interested in maybe purchasing an item like this. All right guys, so let me discuss with you my experience with TXQ sabers. They were very polite. I thought they had great customer service. I got the saber in about seven to 10 days. So this is from AliExpress, which you typically know from China. And it came incredibly fast and they communicated with me messaging within 24 hours. So I can say my experience with TXQ sabers was fabulous. Wow. And for, you know, $130. I got an amazing NeoPixel, and if you have to spend the extra, if you already have a NeoPixel, you know, then that's that's fine. You don't you don't have to. You can purchase this item without the blade. Otherwise, you're going to spend the 160, which for a NeoPixel and a saber that looks kind of this sweet, uh, I th with, with the aux, the the two button setup, is pretty rare and kind of unique. So, I would say I highly recommend this product and this company and I've had no issues with uh, charging it or anything of that nature. You just simply, uh, again, it's three pieces. So if you want to charge or, you know, whatever you have to do, there's the, the, the port to charge right there. And again, you co comes with the, the cords and uh, the only thing with the SN pixel, which might be a question that, or the, yeah, the SN pixel that you guys may have a question about is it does state that it is um, basically not customizable. So what's on here is on here, not like a Xenopixel where you can add uh, the sound fonts also with the Profi, which you have limitless adding and customization. So pretty much what you get on here is what you get on here. So it's kind of like uh, the best budget introduction kind of NeoPixel. And you know you might have to go with something else later down the road when you start really getting into sound fonts and um, really uh, diving into that sort of thing. So highly recommended. I think it's a fabulous saber. It's not a fingerprint magnet, which again is a big deal to me because a lot of LGT type sabers are just that chrome is so fingerprint magnet style. Um, and this is this is not that. So again five star-ish for a low budget. You tell me whether you think this is the best budget NeoPixel. That's what I would like to know. From what you've seen, I can also refer, send you a link for the Sabre, and I can also send you a link. I did a short on the Sabre with many of its, its functions kind of in the dark, so you can get a better look uh, at its features in low light. All right, guys, subscribe, like, give us some feedback. Let us know what you think. Thank you from the Dark Mouth.